Hello and welcome to my channel. So today is Wednesday. I meant to put this video up yesterday, but I had some following through to do that I wanted to share the results with you. First of all, if you're new to my channel, I do videos on Sundays where I do the coupon matchups for the digital coupons at Dollar General. And on Tuesdays or Wednesdays, I typically do a deal you can do during the week that's pretty cheap, around $5 or under, in case you don't want to wait till Saturday to do your couponing. All right, so I usually show you penny items that I find if I find any. And oh, I found some. This is quite the little story. I'm going to go through it pretty quick, though. So I was shopping around. I went to go do my deal. And... I found some penny items. Now, this is the store I love going to. Been going there since they opened. Never had a problem buying penny items. So, I found these sitting in the clearance section. They are purple dot. And it doesn't look too purple on camera, does it? It's a purple dot. They're $3 normally. Scanned it. It's ringing up a penny. I, I did find six of them I have in here. Um... I think they're scented. Yep, they're ocean tide. I mean, they're okay. Do I have did I have to have this candle? Heck no. I could have went without it. So I was like, I'll 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 grab it. A lot of purple dot has reset though, so make sure you're scanning and have your store set correctly in your app if you're penny shopping. Um so I do my deal and I have the candles rung up with the deal I'm doing. And this is the same girl who, uh, like two weeks ago, I bought all the trail mix that rang up a penny. So she's ringing me up and she gets to the candles and it scans as a penny. And she's like, hold on. I'm like, okay, is there like a recall on it? She's like, no. She goes all the way down back to talk to the manager. All these employees are new. Like all the old employees just like all left within a couple weeks of each other. And it's this guy. He's probably about 25 okay. I got so mad. She comes back up to the register. She's like, I can't sell you these. I said, why? Because it's a penny. Yeah, my manager told me I couldn't sell them. I'm like, you do know that the policy is that you have to sell it if it's on the floor, unless it's like a recall or if you got, um, go to buy penny food and it's out of date, you can't. So I said, well, you sold me some last week. She's like, I know. I just, I don't want to get fired, which I understand. So I said, where is he? She was like out back in like that stock room. So I go back there. I knock on the door and I'm like, why can't you sell me these? You're supposed to if it's on the floor. I found them in the clearance section. And he's like, I'm not going to sell them to you. And I don't have to or something like that. I was like, he was really, really cocky, I guess you could say. And I was like, I'm going to call corporate. And he's like, go right ahead. You know, like all, oh, I bit my tongue. I turned around and I walked out to my car and I called corporate. And they're like, no, yes, you know, let, let me have all your information. He should have sold them to you. And they forwarded my stuff to the manager. I'd asked the girl what the manager, like the district or regional manager's name was. And she's like, her name's whatever. And she's like, but I can't give you her number. I'm like, okay. Dollar General Corporate couldn't give me your number, but they passed on a message that she was supposed to answer within 24 hours. So I'm sitting in the parking lot and I'm, I am, I'm pissed, right? It's just the principle. It wasn't that I really needed these candles. So I called a store in the next couple towns over who has the same district manager and the lady was very nice and she said, I will give her your name and number and she called me back within an hour. So she calls me back and she's like, and I told her what happened. She's like, no. He needs to sell those to you. I go, I've been going to this store, you know, since they opened a few years ago. And uh, Penny Shop there, I've never had a problem. I go, he was a jerk, like just a little jerk, you know. And she's like, I apologize. I'm going to call him. I go, well, can I go back and get my candles tomorrow? She goes, absolutely. Go back and get them. I go, if I find other Penny items, I'm going to buy them. She's like, absolutely. And I'm going to talk to him. And he kind of like slammed the door in my face when I left. So I made sure I told her that. And so I did. I went back this morning because, you know, I was I was pissed all night. It just irritated me the way that he spoke to me more than anything. Um, I went in this morning 
And I said, you know, I'm here to buy the candles you wouldn't sell me yesterday. And he's like, sure. And he was all nice about it. So he probably got a little speaking to. But now I feel better because now I know I can go back in that store. Because I do like going to that store. They have an old system so I can still get overage. And it isn't really heavily penny shopped. And probably in the last few weeks, if anyone tried to penny shop with them there, they weren't successful. So they're probably not going back, which makes my odds greater. All right. So that was that. It, it really put me in a bad mood for a long time. Be persistent. If they won't sell you the pennies, call the manager. I'm telling you. All right. The deal. As always, couponing for stuff I need or really want. And this was it. I got three of these. In case you don't believe me. I did get three of them. Now... These are the All Free and Clear 24 Load Detergents. They are $5 a piece. Now, we have $1.50 digital that matches up with these off one. And we also have a, is it three? I think it's $3 coupon that matches up with these. These are older coupons. These were not last week. I think the week before. I might be wrong. Um... But if you didn't clip them back then, they're probably not on your account. I have one account that I clip everything on every week. And I have other accounts that I only go and clip a few things if I have time or if I remember. So I went and checked and the the accounts that I didn't clip them on, they were disappeared from. So if you don't find them, that's why you didn't clip them. We also got a save of five when you spend 15. It's not like on all per sale, I think. A bunch of different um, laundry detergents. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. So we're going to use the one fifty off, the $3 off, and the save five when you spend 15 Because if you get three of these, it's $15. Last time it didn't work on the all for some reason. Just make sure you're scanning it. What I do is I scan them all. Make sure the coupons are clipped and attaching. And I put them in the list to see if they're all going to work together. Granted, I did do mine on an older system, so I'm just speaking from how I did the deal. And they all did come off, so it was a savings of $9.50. I don't know if you can see that. So I got all three of these before tax for $5.50, which is just about the price, plus 50 cents, of one of these. And this stuff I love because I'm allergic to... 500 things under the sun. When everyone's getting good game deals, I'm like, oh, these are the kind of deals I like. I did scan it on Fetch and got 25 points. If you need Fetch or Ibotta, actually, I have both in my um, description box below the video. Fetch is probably one of the most simplest money-saving apps that we have. All you do is take a picture of your receipt and it gives you points. You don't have to click off rebates or anything like that. Now, we did get paper coupons on the bottom of the receipt. We have a 5 off of 25 for this Saturday and a 10 off of 40, depending on how much shopping that you do. Um, if you clip that 5 off of 25 on your account, but you also clip the 10 off of 40 and want to use the 10 off of 40, I would suggest going in and getting a paper one. Um, go buy something, see if you get on your receipt. A lot of times people throw these away right in the parking lot. If you live in one of those, um, kinds of places where people throw stuff on the ground a lot. Uh, and then you can, you, what you want to do is when you buy your stuff, hand them the paper one, then punch in your digitals. So it'll work. Like don't punch in your digitals and then hand them the paper one. Cause I don't think that would work too well. All right. That's about it. No, I usually show you deals where I get rebates on Shop Me Um or something like that. This one's just simple. Three coupons, three products. Done an easy, cheap price. I think that's about it. I'm telling you guys, I was so mad. That all happened yesterday after I got out of work. And I was glad that the lady was, she did call me back fast. She actually told me, um, that she was going to go home and watch the cameras from home. So they must have some system where it's probably watch it on their phone and review it. I'm glad I got my candles. Not the, like I'm saying, it wasn't the candles that I had to have. It was just the fact that he was such a jerk about the whole stinking thing. Like, he was a young kid. Mm -mm. 
not going to be disrespected like that. So all in all, it worked out good. I was kind of like, mm, should I? I was like, yeah, I'm going back in the morning and getting them just to prove my point. I would have went back last night, but I think I was a little too pissed off still to go back. All right. Who's couponing this weekend? Let me know below. Are you using the five off of 25 or that 10 off of 40? That's it. Um, and I will talk to you guys on Sunday when I bring you a new coupon matchup video. Talk to you later. Bye.